Today I have an unconventional method to make a wedding bouquet. While most videos show you how to make a wedding bouquet in your hands, that can be daunting for beginners and challenging if you have small hands. We're going to throw that tradition right out the window. We're going to make a wedding bouquet in a vase. Before we get too excited about this, let's talk about our supply list. One of the reasons I'm going to use a pre-made bouquet is they're already designed for you. They're called a chop and drop in the industry and you shouldn't have to do too many adjustments. And then I've got a vase to help us assemble it all. This is a cylinder vase, it's straight up and down. If you don't have one and your vase is more like this one, it's okay, I've got um, another method to make that work. The other things that we're going to need are a couple of rubber bands. If you don't have that, it's okay, chenille stems. Some nice sharp snips, our stem tape, a couple of feet of ribbon of your choice, and then pins, but I do have another method to secure this. Wait till the end. All right, so let's get started. Now with this pre-made bouquet, what you want to do is try to keep the original integrity of the bouquet as it comes. So you're going to unwrap it. And like anything, you'll want to clean all the leaves where you're going to be holding this bouquet. So you just strip those off. And once you get that clean, you're going to do just a quick measure, holding all this in your hand just like this. So measure it with your vase and then give it a snap. I've got a trash can right down here. And then I'm just gonna slip it right in the vase. Now one of the reasons this is so great is, let's say I get a phone call. Now I can just go walk away, take my phone call, come back and work on my vase and it makes it really easy to do any kind of minor adjustments that I might need to do. So I don't like the yellow in here. I'm going to take that out. This makes it so easy to add something that I really love in it, which are these beautiful pink roses. Let me do a quick adjustment. Now that we have our flowers in a vase, this allows us to do any kind of adjustment we might want to do or add something beautiful to this. I can tell right away that I want to move this particular flower just to make it a little bit more balanced. I'm going to bring it over on this side here. And then to add our flowers, all I'm going to do is do a little bit of a quick measure and then a snip and then start adding them in and around. And what I'm going to do is work with them all the way around the edges to the inside. And you can see how having this in a vase and not your hands allows you a lot of creative freedom, especially if you're inexperienced. First, you could always save one out for a boutonniere. Don't forget the husband. And last one. Okay, this is where the magic comes in. I love this part. All we're going to do now is take this rubber band and we are going to slide this up the base and allow the rubber band to catch it. Now, how easy is that to be able to have it all together to start a stem wrap? Love it. And any kind of leaves that are a little bit too big, we can remove that. Okay, I think we are just about ready. Now, remember that stem wrap. What we're going to do is pull and then twist the bouquet until you get about a hand width. You don't really need much more than that. Just about there. Okay, it's time for ribbon. Let me clean this up. Now you can do really super simple like I did in the past, where it was just a little wrap with some pins. But let me show you this cute little way of doing this. All I'm going to do is start at the bottom 
and wrap towards the top. Keeping it snug, again, we're gonna twist the bouquet. That keeps it nice and clean. And when we get to the top of that tape, all right, all I'm going to do is a cute little twist of the ribbon. I love how this just kind of gives it, I don't know, just a little bit more focus. And you can keep wrapping this around. Now the tuck is what's interesting, is what we want to do is slide it up under the ribbon. And I have found that a chopstick is one of the easiest things to use. This is a bamboo skewer that I had at the house. And all I'm going to do is just slide this right up under to secure it. And you are done. Now, what you can do for measuring the bottom of this, this is a little trick. When you're holding your bouquet, put your thumb in your belly button. What this does is keep you from the bouquet from rising up and up and up and up as you get nervous. So if you put your thumb in your belly button and then measure down about a hand width, that right here is about where you should cut your bouquet. Because you don't want this, let's not be too graphic, but you don't want this in between your legs. This beautiful, quick, easy, beginner bouquet. Your hands are gonna thank you. Okay, all done, super clean, super pretty. Got a puppy in the background, love it. Do you wanna get your, your outro again? <laughs> I thought it was funny.